the kids get so excited when you give out full size candy. Yes, they do. And like, that's why I do it because it makes them so happy. This one kid, he like yelled down the block. He was like, yo, this lady has full size. And his dad looks at me and he was like, oh, the whole football team's coming for you. And literally like a horde of 12 year olds. <laughs> just came running and they were like full size and i was like yep come on come get it See, that's that's why i emphasize look i remember what it was like to do the trick-or-treat stuff when i was a kid and it was really fun and really special and and the full size is like wow and be good to the kids right now because everything's nice for the adults it's gonna be nice for them if it, let them have this let them nice have this hard being a kid yes anymore you know like kids don't have it easy so and there are people in my neighborhood that get mad because like there there are churches in the area that literally like charter a bus and bring all the kids to our neighborhood and there are people that get mad about that and i'm like thank you let kids have nice things yeah bus them into the bougie neighborhood your house costs a million dollars you can afford to give out some candy well so I go all out and I try to make the kids happy. We kind of have a mild week this week. Even what, you know, it's our standard. So you know, it's much, much less fecal matter than usual. So that's, that's mild for us. Well, that's um, good. But yet somehow it's still managed to be Halloween mm -hmm. related. I don't know how they did this. They planned this stuff. They helped me. All right, let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, ready to go to your audience, go on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? We're going to start in the UK, this go around. I I appreciate, uh, you were just talking about, you set up the, the displays for Halloween. I appreciate people going all out for that stuff. But... You know, I'm, I'm actually a little torn on this one. I'm trying to figure out if, if I'm irritated with them or if I think people went a little too far. And I'm sure we're going to have people in our comments who are going to have uh, opinions. Let's pull link over to you. This is from an ice cream store. Uh, Caspa's Desserts forced to pull gruesome Halloween display after sparking outrage. Okay, yeah, your face is kind of being like. See, I Dan and I were always torn on this because Dan always wanted to go like full bore horror Halloween. <laughs> I like to keep it a little softer because like everybody on my block had a COVID baby. So we got a block full of one year olds. Mm. I don't I don't want like blood and gore. They're they're one. So, you know, I have I have all kinds of bones and skeleton arms coming out of my plants and lights and spider webs and stuff, but not a not a wrapped up murder body, huh? No. Ice cream shop has been forced to remove a gruesome Halloween display from its window. Backlash on social media. Gaspa's desserts on uh Etham High Street, uh South London, installed a mannequin covered in a uh, bargain bin bag on top of a pool of blood with a large fake knife nearby the display which looks like a dead body was criticized by people who said it was inappropriate uh, who said it is inappropriate yeah especially for children who walk past the shop all right here's the thing i'm and here's why i'm torn on it for one yes murder body looks like a crime scene some shit's going down but two oh, yeah sure man don't don't talk about all those horror stories about how like they're all oh, that went like the waxwork shit and i'm like oh look at that fake man it was actually a real dead body that someone stashed in the wax no. but it, this i'm torn because on the one hand yeah it's it's a it, that's a bit much that's a little extra but on the other do you see any cops around and it's an ice cream shop like, yeah. are, are you are you really are you buying that? I mean, in New York, you just walk by and be like, "Oh, they're filming Law and Order." Yeah, as yeah, yeah, that's yeah. 
But yeah, like if, you know, if no one seems to be paying any attention to it. And also like what actual murderer would just leave the body in a window, but it's a bit much for me. I, I'm just, I don't know. I mean, I want to know who pitched well, this. I don't like freaking out the kids and even eat my animatronic cat scares my feral cats. They don't like the big cat that just turns its head back and forth. And I feel bad about that, but it's too cute. I'm not getting rid of it. Mariona says it's an ice cream shop. Why does it need a dead body? I mean, yeah, fair point. You know, you expect if they're doing the Halloween, it should be around a theme regarding what they're selling and your business be like, just put up a little sign that says like order to shake five minutes before closing. Because when I worked in an ice cream shop, once you cleaned the shake machine, if someone ordered a shake, you wanted to fucking murder them because you were going to yeah. clean the shake machine again. Nope. Nobody wants to do that shit. So, like, at least make it a little witty. Like, didn't tip. Whatever. I just, I want to know who pitched this to the boss. And the boss is like, you know what? Or yeah. this could have been the kind of boss who does this sort of shit and everybody that. And, and everybody who works there is just like, oh, he's a good one, boss. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a really good idea. Now, this one, I, unequivocally, this one's pretty clear cut. Also in England. And I remember we had the clown sightings and we were all like, what the fuck is going yeah. on? And then that what shit just... This is going to be a weird thing. In like, you know, 20 years, we're going to be sitting, you know, out on a porch, very old. We're going, hey, you remember that summer when the fucking clowns were in the goddamn woods? And kids are going to be looking at us like, what? what? So, yeah, this one, I don't know what the hell happened here, but I, I, I don't know what the hell happened here. Um, th th Kicking it up a notch, I guess. North Somerset Gimp Sightings. Teen describes freaky encounter. Teenagers described a freaky late night encounter with a man wearing a gimp suit. 19 year old said he was approached by the man in Cleve, North Somerset. He said the man was unpredictable, flopping to the floor, writhing and grunting. A man in his 30s has been arrested on suspicion of causing a public nurse. Deuce has been released. <laughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. Uh, man in the 30s has been arrested on suspicion of causing a public nuisance. It's been released on bail. Similar sightings of a person wearing a gimp suit, a full dark body suit and face covering, have previously been reported in the nearby village, villages of Claverham and Yatton, 2019, 2021, and 2022. Yeah, what, what, is, what the fuck is going on here? Somebody's a really big American Horror Story fan. Is this a reference thing? Did you not watch season one of American Horror Story? I did not. There's like a whole thing with a rubber gimp suit. Uh, he said the man was wearing a blue latex gloves and a dark bodysuit from head to toe, which was covered in mud. His outfit was shiny, some sort of liquid. And he was glistening in the torchlight and he smelled really earthy. After he was gone, you could still smell it. That's a quote. Or it's venom. Mm, I'm going to say no on that because that's um, alien and also fictional. And also fictional. That we know of. How the. How is this fun? This is one of those, like, your kink is okay until you force it on other people. Right? And th this, this is getting a little past the kink. This is, this is a hobby now. Yeah. If you're going out for, what, three, four years to the local villages, oh, someone's coming. Let's get to work. Like, maybe take up Needlepoint. I, read a book. I, it, why the? Eight. How is you this fun? Off. 
like even this is is effort like even dressing up for this is effort and i have to find something that will allow me to go for hours on stream live that's not going to be like too terribly uncomfortable and i fail quite often i've been rocking this week since about 4 p.m and it's just starting to get a little itchy yeah so i there you have to be really dedicated to this shit or you're trying to shed a symbiote and you can't this i'm just i'm looking at this and i'm exhausted looking at this yeah like what there are so many other hobbies ain't nobody got time for this you're trying to get on with your life you don't need this motherfucking just out of nowhere and this is a thing that could happen in life just there there's a guy in a gimp suit flopping around on the ground like what are you supposed to do like tip him what if like this is what if this is like kink gone wrong that people are mistaking for someone doing a thing and really he just desperately needs help to get out of that gimp suit repeatedly for three years maybe <laughs> I mean, I don't know how I'm unzipping this costume later. Okay, moving along. This one just fucking kids. I, I fucking. Okay, we were at high school, middle school. We used to have days for costumes and special things. We're allowed to come in, you know. And the administration's like, okay, you do shit. I, I. <sighs> And the fact that, ah, oh, those fucking idiot kids. They take, you give them an inch, they take a fucking mile. Boy school cancels wife beater Wednesday at the 11th hour. Say beats college students have shown, quote, bad judgment after choosing a wife beater Wednesday dress up theme that was shut down 24 hours before going ahead. Year 13 students from the boys' school in Christchurch were gearing up to wear white singlets, sometimes referred to as wife beaters, during a week of themed dress-up days to celebrate their final days of formal class. However, after staff learned of the theme from Stuff Magazine, they spun into action. Uh, school spokesman said the boys had, quote, shown bad judgments, what wasn't our approval, it had been shut down. Staff members were initially told the day was a Wacky Wednesday dress-up theme. The change was not authorized by the school. I mean, you could have just called it something different. Well, why? Okay. Why else would you do it if it wasn't provocative? Why else would you be yeah. out where? Because those things, you've seen them. I don't yeah, know. Where, I don't know where, why guys wear them. I always do. If I have to have an undershirt, it's a t-shirt. I, I do not do that that whole what it it just looks foul for some reason. Right? Dan had them, he would wear them for like mowing the lawn or doing yard work. No, that's they're not right. He had two white ones though. He had like gray or black. Yeah, especially because they're white. Because what they because yeah. that picks up all of and things start looking just very unsettling. Even a drop of sweat. Yes. That's why all of his were gray or black. Um, but yeah. The, the, the only reason you're doing this is because it's called a wife beater. And you're trying to be edgy. And yeah. uh, no. It's not. I mean, I love how the kids, and I love how they almost got the fast one past the administration to show you how much the administration's actually paying attention to the shit that's going on around them. They're trying to slide that one in there. They had to have a, a, a news magazine contact them and say, so do you know about wife beater Wednesday? What? Well, no, it's, 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 it's wacky Wednesday. Oh. Yeah. Well, I hate to it, but it's not. And it's like, that's it's, they're not an interesting garment. Like, so yeah, it would have to be just, Explicit. Her wife beater. Unless you're like people in the channel are mentioning, unless you're really into Die Hard or some shit. Yeah. And that's not what this was. No. 
I had one trick-or-treater dressed as Ash from Army of Darkness, and he was jazzed that I knew who he was. <laughs> he had like a cardboard chainsaw arm. And I was like, oh, cool Ash costume. And he was like, no way, you know Ash? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, see, this lady knows who I am. I'm not, my costume's not stupid. You ever seen that really old movie, Evil Dead? Yeah. <laughs> he was super jazzed that someone knew his costume, because apparently all his friends have been giving him shit about it. So those friends suck. Um, like it's, I don't understand. I, and this is not a new thing. Motherfuckers were doing this kind of shit back when we were kids. And I don't, even back then I was sitting there going, why do y'all like this? What, what, what's oh, is it like rude. So it's funny. I I didn't I didn't get I, There's I didn't, a certain where in just like stuff you're not supposed to do is funny because you're not supposed to do it. And I feel like I don't love all what like one gender schools. Because mm. I don't think they prepare you for life in the world where people are not all one gender. I mean, the, what was it? The former prime minister went to like an all boys school and ended up putting his dick in a pig's mouth or some shit. So, yeah. Like, but you put a thousand teenage boys just in a school. You're just asking for problems. Like they don't need an <laughs> island to do Lord of the Flies. I promise you that. Right. Like teenage boys are just sweaty, smelly chaos. They can't help it. It's not their fault. Oh, but yeah. if they don't even have girls to impress. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have uh, some more fall fun, something I've never understood. Apparently, I, I guess this is more a Midwest thing. The corn maze. I've never done a corn maze. Have you ever gone, done one? I have never done one. And we even grow corn here. Some some people. I, I it's never really you know just never kind of it's a corn maze. I mean they have them up here, but I've never done one. I I so I I I've also never been on a hayride. I mean not to be derivative, but it's corn, so I don't know why you would need big lump with knobs. Well, I, I I don't know why you would need for for corn. I don't know why you would need a gun. Is the thing. Minnesota man accidentally shoots himself getting corn out of boot at corn maze. That is a sentence. <laughs> 38 year old man accidentally shot himself in the upper leg while at Brooklyn Park, Minnesota corn maze Saturday morning. Accidental shooting occurred at 1143 a.m. at the Twin Cities corn maze. The man been near the corn pit, a pile of shelled corn akin to a sandbox and was bending over at the waist to remove corn from his boot when the firearm he was carrying on his hip discharged. All right, you're telling me a couple things right there. Number one, you're walking around without the fucking safety on. And number two, you're walking around with a round in the chamber. Yeah, very irresponsible. Can we talk about the sandbox of corn? Because <laughs> that's not a thing I've heard of before. Is that a thing? Like a corn pit? I don't know. It was called the corn pit. Why? Why would? Why would? What's the? It's it's like the ball pit, but worse. Yeah. What? Why? What's fun? I don't know what's fun about that. But yeah, you're already taken to the hospital. No other incident injuries or incidents of property damage. The festival resume. The festival resumed normal operations after the incident. So you went to this fine family yep. event. Yep. Carrying no safety round in the chamber. Yep. You dumb sack of shit. Yep. It's fine. It's not like it's just gonna go off. There's, there's you know a what the dumb thing is? He won't even lose his right, right. to have a firearm over that. They, he should. Yeah. They should be like, no more guns for you. But we won't. Because America. There's a really old movie, funny enough, 
uh, called Tank from the 80s. And it, it features a guy who, as a hobby, has a Sherman tank. And someone asks him, why do you take? He says, well, I'm, very, I'm pretty much less likely to shoot, to shoot myself cleaning it. <laughs> what does he do with the tank? Or is that the hobby, just having a tank? Well, just, he had the tank, but then there's this whole, you know, story that goes along later on with Southern okay. corruption and cops and bullshit. And that's a thing. We still stuck on the corn pit. What is a corn pit? That a seems pile. like some kind of David Lynchian, Garmon Bosian nightmare. Yeah, a pile of shelled corn a kid to a sandbox. Shelled corn. I don't know if you know the thing about corn is that it, it's not comfortable. No. Even the leaves and the, the shucking and all that, it's not comfortable. Gillian Anderson said when they were filming the X-Files movie, With the running through that cornfield, yeah. like the leaves were beating her face up. Yeah. Nothing about corn is something you want to wrap yourself in. Yeah. And also there was a gun. Why the fuck? What the who what did you were were you expecting? You never know. Fucking pumpkin head or some shit. What's wrong with you? You never know when the Al Qaeda might come to the corn maze. Yeah, it's a prime target, I'm sure. Ugh, there's going to be a caravan or some shit at the corn maze. It's on a Fox News. A lot, a lot of shit going down in the corn pit. <laughs> this is... Uh, this... Can you... Have you ever seen this place with a help wanted and you just know immediately there's a reason why they pay someone to work there? And they're not getting someone to work there. Yeah. yeah, this this help wanted sign kind of kind of says it all. Um, Pasadena business now hiring non stupid people. That is huge. Yup, the owner of a Pets Gone Wild Resort put up a hiring sign that is causing a mixed reaction in the community. Pasadena, Texas. New job posting in Pasadena is turning heads, making some people laugh and others scowl. Pets Gone Wild Resort said he put up the hiring side Tuesday morning. It says, no hiring non-stupid people. They don't think they're stupid, so they come in to apply, owner Walter Parsons says. Side of the resort is a job posting uh, like no other. We're trying to weed out the people that do come in. We hired one last week, lasted three days. Parsons says the resort have been trying to fill positions for a while. They've made postings online. Repeatedly, quote, get off your cell phone. You've got dogs to watch. Okay, put the cell phone up. Go back out there. All right, you can tell immediately when someone calls it a cell phone, you can gauge who, how old they are. Immediately. Yeah. yeah. If you are calling it a cell phone, you're definitely past 50. So you already you know exactly this kind of dude. Twenty minutes later, she's back on her cell phone. At least be as smart as I am. Does he mean don't get caught? I mean, is it it's immediately I tell? I gotta be honest. I sympathize a little bit because if your job is to play with dogs all day, yeah, that's true. How are you fucking that up? That's a great job. Admittedly, yes, you're going to have to pick up poop. But your job is to play with dogs all day. For Fuck money. The phone. Fuck the phone. They're paying you to play with dogs. But, but yeah, but still, he's like, we can't keep anybody. One lasted three days. I wonder why. I mean, the guy probably sucks to work for. Uh, was it really the phone or was this guy just this? This is this guy has that big. If you have time to clean, you have if you're time to lean, you have time to clean energy. Yeah. yeah. It's just just. 
I want to know who they think they're deterring, though, because like, do they picture people being like, oh, I want to work. Oh, man, I'm stupid. I can't <laughs> no, the problem is you put out a sign like this. You're going to get the people who think they are the smartest motherfucker. It, it's just like this is the edge of the Dunning Kruger line right here. Or like the non-stupid people aren't going to apply because they're going to assume you're a dick. Yeah. Like d d if you see a sign like this, is that a, is that a job? You're going, you know what? I could work there for years. No, you're not. You're not. Yeah. You see a sign like that. You're like, okay, no, thank you. You sound like a delight. There's only so much we're willing to put up with to live these days. And it's becoming much less and less we, people are willing to put up with. Some dude once offered me a job at my job, was trying to recruit me away from my job while hitting on me and said that he, he was having trouble filling positions, but he wanted me to work for him because I looked clean and American. Mm. Mm. And I was like, I wonder why you can't get people to work for you. I wonder what the problem could be. Bad, bad, Jesus Christ. What a charmer, Tara. Work in retail is just, every day is a new adventure. We got one last one this week. And, and like I said, this has been a pretty mild week, but this one I just had to include because Jesus fucking Christ. We can't go too easy on them. Eh. You, 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 I mean, you gotta hand it to him. When, when the dude just does something, he does, in fact, commit. Uh, police man causes crash, then buys whiskey shots. A Venice man was accused of causing a... What? Sir! Say what? Look at his glasses! Yeah, he says he's had a day. Sir, please have those adjusted. Venice man is accused of crashing a car while driving drunk and then leaving the scene to get shots at a nearby bar. Uh, tied to Celio 52. Uh, was charged with hit and run involving damage to property. DUI, two counts hit and run involving injury. And three counts DUI, damage to property of person. Um, uh, Celio was allegedly driving drunk, crashed into a car. He allegedly fled on foot to a nearby bar and bought three whiskey shots before... Returning to the scene. Why would you do that? So here's what happened. You're driving along. A dude hits your car. He gets out and says, okay, hold on. I'll be back. I need some tasty eggs off. I'm not drunk enough for this shit. Yeah, I need a few more. I'll be right back. And then... Would you be, I mean, like, the surprising part was, hey, he was right back. What the fuck? <laughs> he came back. You gotta read the poll quote. Yeah. Um, during the arrest, I'm a controlled al alcoholic. I just quit drinking vodka, and now I'm drinking wine. So, yeah, he's got a handle on it. Okay. Except you went and got whiskey. Well, okay, you know, extenuating circumstances. There was, you know, <laughs> the whole car wreck and all. I, you know, not made of stone there, Tara. No, I, I, I gave up vodka. I lose your whiskey now. It's all better. I just, I love that the fucker is just like, oh, shit, what do I do? I'm getting a fucking bar. That's, that's my solution. And, and I really, as a former lens crafters employee, am forced to wonder if that happened to his glasses in the crash or if being a controlled alcoholic, he just walks around like that. Yeah, he's like, do you think he's noticed yet or because he doesn't seem like he does? No, he doesn't seem concerned. <laughs> like, can you imagine sitting there? The guy runs off and like, hey, come back. Where's he going? And actually, the he comes back. what? <sighs> the fucker's like, yeah, is he coming back? He's coming back. What the fuck? 
<laughs> now, obviously, they're going to catch him because his car is right there. You know, it doesn't stop yeah. being your car if you're not with it. He claimed he drove a Toyota. Right. When it was a Ford involved in the crash. No, that's not, that's not my car. Fair. Fair enough. Yeah. He drives a Toyota. Fuel efficiency. I get it. I get it. Yeah, uh, one victim had a minor injury, another had some neck pain, so yeah, got off incredibly light on this. But motherfucker, do, do you, do you kind of, how drunk were you already at the point where the cause and effect had drifted away? Okay, so, hold on. I was drinking, and I ended up here. So, in order to figure out what to do from now to get to there i have to drink more because i got here by drinking and i need to get there wherever there is maybe he thinks if you drink till you black out you get to skip whatever happens in between like maybe he thinks it's like a fast forward <laughs> and i just black out i won't be arrested i'll just wake up tomorrow <laughs> It's not how it works, unfortunately. Gonna do over <laughs> and shit. Oh. Well, that was this week. Thank God people took it a little easy this week. Which next week, I'm sure, will be oh, a wow. cavalcade of insanity. Because it will be post Halloween. God damn. What did we learn this week? We um let's uh if you were already in the midst of a DUI related issue, don't more DUI. Don't more. No. Too much. We've learned that uh, you know what you, what your sign your hiring sa sign says about you will also say about your applicants. <laughs> I just imagine this poor bastard just walking up is like, I am the non-stupid person. <laughs> oh well, this didn't work out like I planned. Um we've learned you do not need a gun at the corn maze. No. I'm going to say that again. You do not need a gun at the corn maze. Like just another sentence you never thought you'd have to say out loud. Like uh, this is not children of the corn, that's not even a concern. And that was a shitty shitty movie. A series of shitty movies no less. So I've only seen the fourth one where they hauled out Billy Drago. But I've never seen the original. Um, we've learned that teenage boy, you got to watch fucking teenage boys. If there, if there is an option to do the most aggressive and asshole thing when you're not looking, they'll take it. Someone's going to be duct taped to something is what I'm saying. Yeah. Why do y'all do that? I don't fucking know. What's that about? It's like at any given moment, someone's going to bust out the duct tape. You're going to come back. Someone's on the goddamn seat. Like teenage boys. Duct tape or fire? Sometimes I both. I yeah. Uh, we've learned that you can just be walking around the English countryside and a dude in a gift mask will flop around in front of you. Do not make eye contact. Just How do you know if you're making eye contact? That's a good point, too, yeah. Because it depends on how, how elaborate the, uh, the mask is. Uh, try to pick a spot on the horizon. Maybe it's the Hound of the Baskervilles. <laughs> Finally this week, we've learned... You should, the BBC Sherlock should update that story and do it with that. Okay. That. People would watch that shit. Redo the Hound of the Baskervilles, but it's a dude in a gimp suit, and make Benedict Cumberbatch deal with that? I'd watch that. That episode already went off over as badly as possibly could so i know but this would be better that's true 
Well, it, it wouldn't be hard to be better than that, that episode. That that episode was terrible. Um, we, finally, this week we were first thing this week. I don't know how you want to take. I because I work backwards and apparently it pisses people off. Um, you know, it's good to go out decorating for Halloween, but you're not, you know, the new master of horror, Stephen King or your oh. Clive Barker or some shit. You're not Ice even. Cream, man. Yeah, you're not even Dean Koontz, for fuck's sake. All right, so that is this year's followers. God help us. I'm still stuck on the sexy Rugrats. That's not okay. That's not okay. Because the top two here is like the kids or the dude who messes with the kids. And that's that's like almost a threesome. And I don't even want to go there. This is horrible. Who wants to fuck this?